Hey everybody, it's Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog, and today we're going to talk about the one not to miss thing on every Royal Caribbean ship up next. Royal Caribbean designs its cruise ships to be destinations in and of themselves, and today I'm going to share the one absolute must do on every ship in the fleet. Are you ready? Here we go. Empress of the Seas by Amos, an original production, this show features vibrant vocal ensembles and dynamic ballroom dancing styles from around the world. Majesty of the Sea, Splash Away Bay, kids are going to love spending their sea days going down the slides, getting drenched, and splashing all over the kids' aqua park on Majesty. Grandeur of the Seas features the Palladium Theater. There's a lot of great performances on Grandeur of the Seas, and many of them take place in the Palladium Theater. Check out the shows there each evening. Rhapsody of the Seas is Zumi. Located in the Viking Crown Lounge, this might be one of the best locations for a specialty restaurant, period. Plus, the food is really good. Enchantment of the Seas, the Jump Zone. Up on Deck 10, you'll find four bungee trampolines on Enchantment, known as the Jump Zone. Guests can be strapped into a harness that is connected to bungee cords and then jump up, down, and upside down on inflatable trampolines during two-minute jump sessions. Vision of the Seas. Poolside Movie Screen. When you combine pools and movies, you will never go wrong. There's something lovely about enjoying a Hollywood classic while you lounge in or around the pool with a warm Caribbean breeze hitting your face. Each evening, Royal Caribbean presents movies on the poolside movie screen that feature surround sound and the perfect backdrop for any flick. Voyager of the Seas. Perfect Storm Water Slides. Added in October 2019, Voyager of the Seas offers two racer slides that provide three stories of twists and turns. Explorer of the Seas, the reimagined poolscape. Coming in 2020, the pool deck will be reimagined to a resort-style look coming to the pool deck of Explorer of the Seas. Hammocks, daybeds, casitas, and in-pool loungers will all be added. Plus, you've got the Lime and Coconut, which is Royal Caribbean's signature poolside bar. The three-level venue is at the heart of the new pool deck and features a rooftop deck as well. On Adventure of the Seas, you have to try out the Perfect Storm water slides. The water slides at the aft of the ship offer some terrific family fun. Navigator of the Seas, without a doubt, the main attraction is the Blaster and Riptide water slides. The Blaster is Royal Caribbean's first aqua coaster, and it's also the longest water slide at sea. You hop into a raft, race down more than 800 feet of dips, drops, and straightaways that extend over the side of the ship. Riptide is also new to Royal Caribbean and is the cruise industry's only headfirst matte racer slide that finishes off with a very, very wet ending. Try to keep your eyes open for the views over the translucent tubes. Mariner of the Seas has the Sky Pad, which is a bungee trampoline experience that combines virtual reality with the energy of a trampoline experience. It's a compelling combo, and what it leads to is a really fun sea day activity. While you bounce up and down on the trampoline while tethered to bungee cords, you'll enter a video game virtual reality experience that takes you to moon craters or to compete in intergalactic games. Radiance of the Seas has self-leveling pool tables. In the Bombay Billiard Club, you'll find a pair of self-leveling pool tables. The tables are gimbaled on a motion-sensitive motorized gyroscope that counteracts the ship's movements to keep the tables as level as possible. On Brilliance of the Seas, you have to go to the cinema. Brilliance is a dedicated movie theater featuring stadium seating and a fully enclosed space to see films just like you would in a theater on land. The best part? Totally complimentary. On Serenade of the Seas, go to the helipad. If you want the best spot on Serenade of the Seas to watch as she pulls out of port, then it has to be the helicopter pad at the front of the ship. Located on the bow, guests can walk to the helicopter pad and enjoy unobstructed views that you can only get from this location. The perspective from this spot is hard to beat, and a lot of guests have no idea it's possible to go there. Jewel of the Seas, you want to spend some time in the solarium. Being a Radiance class ship, Jewel of the Seas offers arguably one of the best adult-only enclaves across the fleet in the solarium. The solarium includes pool, hot tub, seating area, bar, and no kids. Freedom of the Seas features Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. Coming as part of its new refurb, it's a fresh new twist on a guest's favorite. Pick from authentic Italian dishes with a contemporary flair, including made-to-order pizzas, hand-tossed, front and center, and baked in the new in-house pizza oven. Liberty of the Seas is the only roller coaster ship to feature the Tidal Wave water slide, which is the, the first boomerang-style water slide at sea. This hair-raising slide features a steep drop that propels riders up a near vertical wall for a moment of weightlessness and then into a free fall. Independence of the Seas has one of the largest hibachis at sea. Ever since Royal Caribbean added a teppanyaki style dining option to Izumi locations on the Oasis class ships, they've become extremely popular with guests. As a result, 
Royal Caribbean opted to add the first Izumi location to a Freedom class ship and among the biggest hibachi in the entire fleet. Over on Oasis of the Seas, the Aqua Theater shows are not to be missed. The 700 seat Oasis of the Seas Aqua Theater at the aft of the ship offers a daytime water show called Splish Splash and a nighttime show called Oasis of Dreams. 18 performers, six divers, four synchronized swimmers, two specialty divers, and six acrobats perform in the Aqua Theater in its 17 foot, nine inch deep pool. Three pool lifts, lighting and underwater cameras enhance the show. In short, it's amazing. Allure of the Seas features Mamma Mia. The hit Broadway musical can be seen on board Allure of the Seas and it's totally free. Likewise, Harmony of the Seas offers Grease. The stage production, specifically adapted by Royal Caribbean, boasts a soundtrack of crowd favorites such as Summer Nights, Grease Lightning, Look at Me, I'm Sandra D, Born a Hand Jive, Beauty School Dropout, and more. On Symphony of the Seas, go down the ultimate abyss, which is the tallest slide at sea. It's a duo of racing slides where guests spiral down a 92 foot drop in about 13 seconds. On Quantum of the Seas, you've got North Star, the jewel-like capsule that takes passengers more than 300 feet above sea level for stunning views of the area around you. On Anthem of the Seas, you can see We Will Rock You. Written by British comedian Ben Elton, this hilarious award-winning and record-breaking phenomenon is built around 24 of the greatest hits of British rock legend Queen. And last but not least, Spectrum of the Seas. The sky pad is iconic. It's a virtual reality bungee trampoline experience located on the aft of the ship. Woo, there you have it. Have you tried any of these yet? Did I miss something you think is way more of a must do? Post your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to turn on notifications so that way YouTube can let you know when I post a brand new video. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.